Ada for wanting to cut off my friends and family after they ruined my birthday trip? Advice needed. This past week I went on what I thought would have been a vacation and the time of my life. My friends and I had planned a trip for my birthday for months now. We said we would go to Nashville to celebrate, and some have never been. It was myself, my boyfriend Lenny, my two best friends Amanda and Lindsay, and my boyfriend's cousin Marcus along with his girlfriend Jasmine. For a slight backstory, I had just had the worst week of my life. My grandmother had passed away a day before our trip, but I knew she was having major complications about a week before. I decided that I would still go with my friends to celebrate my birthday and to clear my mind. All of my friends knew what I was going through as well. We arrived at our rental home for the weekend and my friends as well as my boyfriend surprised me with birthday decorations. We then eat dinner and go out to downtown. We go to a couple of bars and have a couple of drinks and when we enter this one bar, Lenny's cousin and his girlfriend get into an argument and walk out of the bar. We then felt obligated to check in on them and when we walked out of the bar they were screaming at each other on the side of the road. Lenny and I agreed to let them hash it out and we took Amanda and Lindsay to grab a bite. At this point, the vibes are killed for the night and we Uber back to the rental. When we get to the rental Marcus and Jasmine are still arguing with each other and Jasmine comes into my room to ask Lenny if he can talk to Marcus. Lenny goes outside to talk to Marcus. They chat for about an hour and then we go to sleep. Next morning, everything was normal. We brushed the entire situation under the rug for the trip's sake. We went shopping and then grabbed dinner and it was a great time. Then we went back to the rental to get ready to go back out to downtown and we were pre-gaming. We go to a couple of bars and we're having a ton of fun. We then found this club in one of the bars and we were dancing and having a ton of fun until Marcus said he had to go to the bathroom. He goes to the bathroom and is gone for what feels like 30 minutes. We kept asking Jasmine if he was okay or if she had texted him. She then went to text him and he said he left the bar because we had left him. She responded saying we may have shifted over because it was crowded but we were still at the club. We then left to check on him again and he was on the side of the road again and Jasmine and Marcus were arguing again. At this point, Amanda is fed up and walks over to them to tell them to hash it out for the sake of my birthday. Jasmine is screaming at Marcus and Marcus walks away. Then Amanda is telling Jasmine to stop yelling at him and Jasmine says she's going to try to find him. She leaves and Amanda walks back knowing at this point I'm visibly upset. She tries to get me to go into another bar but then Jasmine is calling Lindsay saying Marcus called her to say he got arrested, when in fact he didn't. She then asks Lindsay to go find her and Lindsay is not in a sober state of mind. She is wasted. Amanda and I kept saying no. Amanda is pulling on her and eventually has to take her phone away from her. Lindsay then begins sobbing in the middle of the road saying we can't leave our friends. We kept trying to assure her that we weren't and that she could not go and try to find Jasmine on her own. She continues sobbing. Jasmine finds us in the same spot that she left us in. Lenny then says to Jasmine, you two need to go back to the rental. He then tells them a spot to get an Uber and Amanda and Lenny try to take me to another bar to try to salvage the night. 30 minutes roll around and we check Lindsay's location just to make sure they got back okay. They are sitting in a park and haven't left. We then make our way to them and as we show up Marcus walks over and gets in my face saying I was talking crap about them. Lenny then gets upset and says, what are you talking about? I then get into his face and tell him that I wasn't talking shit and that I said it was ridiculous that we're on vacation and they're fighting. He continued bickering with me up until I told him this would have never happened if he wasn't a problem. Lindsay is still sobbing. Jasmine is yelling at him still. He walked away again. Amanda, Lenny and I then ordered an Uber and said if they don't get in they can figure it out. They ended up joining us and it was silent the entire ride back. While Jasmine and Marcus were at the park, Jasmine ended up smashing her phone and kept using Lindsay's as well. We get back and Marcus and Jasmine continue arguing. At this point, Lenny and I are in our room and I'm upset because at this point I would have rather stayed home. Jasmine comes into our room and says that she apologizes and that they were going to leave. They then pack up all their belongings and load up their car. And Marcus is in the living room sobbing and refusing to leave. Eventually, Jasmine comes back into our room and wants to clear the air. She said Lindsay told her that I wanted to leave them and they can go F themselves. I then told her I never said that and that we sat in Lindsay's face for 20 minutes telling her we weren't leaving. She then apologized again. The next morning rolled around and Marcus gave me a genuine apology for getting in my face and ruining the night. I moved on but still asked for space as at this point I only wanted to be around Lenny and Amanda. Lenny, Amanda and I go out to lunch leaving Jasmine, Marcus and Lindsay back. We come back from lunch and nap. At this point it's 6pm and Lindsay had not apologized to me all day. She then walked into my room and said she wanted to apologize and that she was too drunk but never said that I wanted to leave them. We bickered a bit over those details and then as she got up she said, well I hope you can get over it since it's the last day of the trip. I then tried my best to sweep it under the rug but as I was getting ready Lindsay Marcus and Jasmine were throwing back shots and completely forgot that we had a birthday cake for me. I had asked Lenny and Amanda not to say anything to see if they were being genuine. We leave to go to this private event that we all bought tickets for. It was above a food court. Since Jasmine smashed her phone, her ticket was on there and she no longer had access to it. 
She said she and Marcus were going to go talk to customer service to see if they could get in and then grab food. Lenny, Amanda, Lindsay and I then grab food and it is super awkward. Lindsay then says, I think I'm still hungry. I'm going to do a lap around. She then walks away from us as we finish eating. We start making our way to the event and Lenny texts Marcus saying we're on our way to the event. They ignored our message and never showed up. They left the area and went to another bar slash club and posted a picture. At this point, it was my birthday and they ditched us. We go back to the rental and they are there. When Amanda Lenny and I walked in they were giggling and then they saw us and their faces went pale and it was silent. Amanda Lenny and I are packing up our things as we planned on leaving the next morning early. We found out that Lenny's brother got a call from Marcus. Marcus lied about the events that happened the last day and told him it was our fault and that they felt obligated to do the things I wanted to when they didn't want to do them. I was very open and asked everyone if they had suggestions on what we should do or where to go. Even now they have not texted me. They didn't wish me a happy birthday. They didn't feel apologetic about ruining an entire weekend. Am I the bad for cutting Lindsay, Marcus and Jasmine off completely even if some are family?